Hello and welcome to Cert Videos. Before we begin, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for being here and to thank you for choosing Cert Videos as your training partner. My name is Sham. I'm going to be your trainer for this JNCIA video series. I also want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support and encouragement that you gave for my earlier content. And today we are here with the JNCIA video series. In this video, we are going to talk about a couple of things to get started. Number one is Juniper certifications and number two is the course outline. Let's begin by talking about Juniper certifications. Now before we begin talking about the different Juniper certifications, I also want to point out for a second, this course is not only intended for JNCIA exam takers. This course is also intended for people who are new into networking. Maybe you just started and this is your first networking course. This is going to be a great place for you to start because we're going to start by looking at the absolute basics of networking and then build on that foundation. It's also going to be a great course for you if you are a device administrator. Having said that, let's begin by looking at the different Juniper certifications. Now JNCIA happens to be the first in the list of Juniper certifications. It's a common examination and it's your starting point into Juniper certifications. Once you complete your JNCIA, you then move into JNCIS. By the way, JNCIA stands for Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate. So it's an associate level certification. After JNCIA, you then move into JNCIS which stands for Juniper Networks Certified Internet Specialist. Now when you move into JNCIS, you have to make an important decision. You have to choose your track. So you have three options. You can choose the enterprise track. You can also choose service provider or security. Once you complete your JNCIS, you can then dive into JNCIP which is the professional level certification and then you can also move into JNCIE which is the expert level certification. So those are the different tracks for Juniper certifications. And JNCIA is a written examination for 90 minutes consisting of 70 multiple choice questions. The exam code for JNCIA is JN0102. And once you pass this examination, you have a certificate that's valid for two years, after which you have to renew it by writing JNCIA or you write a higher level certification like JNCIS. All right, so that's some basic information about JNCIA certifications. Let's now talk about the course outline. Okay, so we have the exam objectives listed here. And as you can see, we can divide the exam topics into seven points. Number one is networking fundamentals. So here we're going to talk about really basic stuff like the OSI model. We'll talk about TCP IP model. We'll also talk about IPv4, IPv6, and a very important concept known as subnetting. So lots of basic stuff to begin with, and that's why I said this course is also going to be a great place to start with if you are new to networks. After networking fundamentals, we'll dive into Juno's fundamentals. So we'll talk about things like Juno's architecture. We'll talk about the device portfolio for Juno's. We also talk about control plane and forwarding plane and we'll understand what are the differences between these two. So those are some of the things that we'll talk about in Juno's fundamentals. We'll then dive into user interfaces where we'll discuss about the command line interface and JWeb. JWeb is a web management utility for Juno's. We'll then dive into Juno's configuration basics where we'll talk about interfaces, security zones, policies, etc. So lots of interesting stuff is going to happen here. We'll then talk about operational monitoring and maintenance, which is more or less troubleshooting. Obviously, it's going to be at a very basic level, especially for JNCIA. So we'll look at things like monitor commands, ping commands, trace commands. So basic troubleshooting kind of stuff will be taken care of here in operational monitoring and maintenance. We'll then talk about routing fundamentals where we'll talk about the fundamentals of static routing and dynamic routing. And we'll see what are the differences between these two. Finally, we'll take a look at routing policies and firewall filters where we'll understand how to use routing policies to control routing updates and firewall filters to control the traffic coming in and out of the firewall. So that's going to be the exam objectives we'll discuss in this JNCIA series. You can also get all information regarding certifications 
by going to juniper.net forward slash certification. So that's the plan for this video. In the next video, we're going to start by looking at the OSI model and we also look at the TCP IP model and we are going to compare and see the differences between these two models. That's the plan for the next video. I'm really excited to see you there and I'd like to thank you for watching.